All right, time to play some H3 VR. We just got a new update today. I didn't think we'd get one, but uh, we do. We do now. So, yeah. Sorry if uh, I'm a little late. I had to do something outside of the house, but I'm back, and now I can finally play. Uh, even though my arm is still a little sore from uh, the jab, but uh, let's get to it. All right, a couple of new additions to the game. You got. Uh, let's look at this one first. This is the Dardic, right? Alright, look at that. Let's uh, put it on the uh, right hand here. Pretty cool. Oops. Ooh. So left on the uh, thumb pad opens up the little flap there. So you can access the internal magazine. Let's spawn lock this. This is your uh, clip. And you put it in. And there you go. Cool. Down on the touchpad, opens up the, uh, oh, sorry, um, pulls back the hammer and uh, rotates the cylinder. And we can also spin the gun, because it's a revolver. And, oh, we have an alternate pose for the, um, for the gun. Let me just turn on, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Arms and objects, no. So, as you can see there, if you turn, if you push right on the thumb pad, get ourselves a easier way to add more ammunition. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, turn off this and switch hands here. I need to find the center of my play space. All right, let's go with uh, five yards or five meters. Whoa, I'm not done yet. Cool. Actually, you know what? I forgot to do. <laughs> forgot about this. I should do this. Boom, boom, oop. Left eye. Anything good? Good. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, keep shooting this. It's kind of hard to reload if you're left-handed, so i got to switch it off to the right. Let's use the alternate pose here. Oh, um, forgot how Anton did it, but uh, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, this thing can hold 15. Actually, you know what? Go. Oh. Well. Uh, that's one thing nice about the bullets. They're triangular, the trowns, so they don't roll. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alright, so um Add a couple more in here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay. And add one more. I think that should be 15, if I remember correctly. Hmm. All right. Yep, 15. Cool. Really kind of, well, like I said, it's not really that great for uh, left-handers. But it is pretty fun. Let's see, let's put this one inside. Oh. That one up. One more. There we go. That should be 15. Let me clear the target here. strong. I just love how it poops out the bullets. <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
And like I said, we can spin it. Ah, nice. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but. Uh... Cool, cool, cool. All right. Next thing we'll check out is this one. This basically the Dardic, but in carbine version. Again, not really good for left-handed people, but we'll manage by... Actually, yeah, we can do this. Oh, wait, we can't access the controls. That's okay. Right. And then we'll do one more. All right, let's reset the target. <laughs> Poops out that last bullet. Love it. Let's do that again. All right, uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just stick a clip in. Uh, insert bullets. One, two, okay, flip that closed, Pretty funky little gun, though. Let's do one more, and then we'll move on. Oh, so hard to do it right-handed. Oh. Okay, I think that's enough. Cool. All right. There you go. Dardic. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see if there's any uh, other... Uh... Ooh, yeah, that's right. We have flechette rounds. Hey. That's cool. Okay, let me check out these babies. Yep. The little three holes there. All right, let's try this out. I actually want to know how many rounds this thing holds. Let's see. One... Oh, God. You know what? Let's get rid of this. This is the flechette, right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten. Oops. So that's ten. And uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. This should be the flechette rounds, right? Whoops, nope, I didn't want to do that. These are the regular rounds, you can see. Let's get rid of those. All right, reset the target. Let's move this out of the way. All right, we're going to reload this gun, so... Let's... Uh, Use the alternate mag pose there. And there we go. 15. What do these flechette rounds do? Hmm. Oops. I think we might need to uh, go further out. So let's go 10 meters. All right, let's see. Nope. Oh. This is why you want to do this with your dominant hand. Oh, you know what? I should begin a new set. 
Hmm, maybe we should go farther. Let's go 30 meters. Reset the target, reset the sheet. I think that, uh... Hmm, we might need to go farther than 30 meters. Because the spread on these flechette rounds is really, really tight. <laughs> we have to go a longer distance. Let's, uh, let's put this one in. But that's pretty cool. So we got flechette rounds. Which, uh... Hmm. All right. Actually, want to try one more thing here. All right, and then we set. See how this uh, flechette round works. Oh, yeah, I think we might need to go a uh, longer distance for the uh, the spread to widen out. 30 meters is still pretty good. Okay, cool. Well, that's the Dardic and its carbine. Let's move on to the next one. This is the OTS-38, right? Yeah. And, uh, oh, I like this already. This is my favorite now. One of my favorites, at least. This is really good for... Uh, Left-handed uh, players, because the uh, the cylinder opens up on the uh, right side. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, uses these funky little bullets here. That uh, well, you'll see. Well, I mean, you probably already seen if uh, you watched Anton's devlog. But uh, yeah, this gun is pretty silent. It's got a little laser, too. Lasers at the top here. But the gun fires, um, the barrel is uh, lower. I forgot what it's called. But uh, somebody will probably uh, correct me here. But I'm just going to fire the gun. Ooh, that is cool. And again, that that uh, the cylinder being in that position, this is really good for left-handed users. Well, that is, that is nice. I think this is a uh, Russian in nature. Not too familiar with, uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see controls. Uh, left on the trackpad opens up the, uh, there we go. Yep, like that. You can still spin the uh, revolver around because it is a revolver using up on the touchpad. Hammer down is down on the touchpad. And uh, for easier loading, which you can't do uh, if you're right handed. So all you righties now have to feel the pain of uh, <laughs> shooting this, shooting revolvers. Well, we, we have the R8 already, so okay, you can spin it. And I'm just seeing if I can do the manual closing of the uh, cylinder there. Eh, it's kind of, it works kind of. You have to, nope, you accidentally spin it. Oh, actually, no, wait, hold on. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Where is the options panel here? So what I'm trying to do is open it up and then... Oh, okay. So it's like that. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Grab it. You grab the uh, the cylinder and then you push uh, and you pull back. You close it. Ah, that's actually pretty cool.
You can't even hear it. Well, you can't hear a little bit. Ah, oh, that this is a really cool gun. I could probably use this. <laughs> I mean, considering I'm left-handed. All right, let me just grab it. Nope. You have to pull... Okay, let me see if I can... You have to grab and then pull this way. Or you can pull back. It's easier this way as well. Cool, cool. Okay. Let's turn these... Uh, let's turn the Geo off here. There you go. The OTS-38. Just making sure I got the name right. These things, come on. Get out of here. Really cool. I like that. That's nice. All right. Then we got the, uh, trying to look the name here, Webley Fosbury. Same kind of controls. Open up the, uh, open up the breach here or whatever the, um, by using left on the trackpad. Up spins, down, cocks the hammer. And right is to make it easier to reload, which you don't really need to because this thing. Um, wait, actually, hold on. Let me check something here. Do, 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 do. Okay, we had the Webley Mark IV, so this is new. Just to, I had to make sure. But uh, this thing breaks open like that, so reloading is easier for any, any uh, handed person, left or right. Stick that. You got the cool little um, Webley speed loader there. And uh, we're ready to go. Oop, bullets pop out like that. wonder if I can... Yeah, so same kind of... Uh, ooh, oh, no. Well, whatever. So basically grab and then pull towards at least my... My right, right? I don't know how um, right-handed people will do it, but... Uh, open that up. Cool. Also, uh, I think uh, due to Anton messing around with the game, I think, yeah, it has that, like, forward-backward movement, right? That is pretty cool. And uh, due to that, he fixed the uh, Unica, which has that same kind of motion. That's why it's here. This gun is not new. It's kind of old. But, oh, yeah, this is one of those uh, right-handed guns, huh? But as you can see... The uh, gun moves back to do the whole cocking motion. And, uh, yeah. It's one of those right-handed guns, so it's a shame. I like this gun, but when I used it, I was like, oh, that's that's disappointing. I think there was a I think there was one Unica, right? That had like the the bar the, the cylinder like flip up to the top or something. Or maybe maybe that's fictional. I don't exactly remember, but uh I think there's also a brake action Unica. I'm not too familiar with these. I've only seen the one in uh, Ghost in the Shell. And uh, yeah, that's my extent of knowledge with these types of uh, revolvers. But yeah, there's, uh, like I said, Anton fixed that kind of stuff. So now it reciprocates, slides back. Cool stuff. Okay. Oh, man, my neck is just killing me. Yeah, this, uh, this Vax will make you uh, tired and sore. So, just need to shake it off a bit. All right, moving on. We've got ourselves, let's save that one for last because uh, I want to check out this thing. This is the telescope scope. <laughs> so let's, uh, well, I got the Desert Eagle. You know what, let's try, let's uh, try. Wait, no, this does not have a rail. Let's get ourselves something appropriate. Huh, what, uh... uh is there anything retro that has a uh, rail mount? Oh, five? No. Hmm. 
I saw this in the devlog. I was like, oh man, something classic should be, uh, should should mount onto it. But I think you know some of these older weapons don't have Picatinny rails, so. Uh. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's go to shotgun. No, no, no. Let's go to rifle. Let's go to. No, not the brown bass. Uh, breech loading. Rolling block. No. Um, lever action. All right, here we go. It's not classic in a sense because it's got all this like, uh, you know, modern day stuff. But uh, uh, you know, we'll just get used to it. All right, let's stick this this telescoping scope on here. Grab ourselves a bullet. All right. Let's reset the target. And let's load this thing up. Okay, cool. All right, so you might be wondering what this is. Well, it's a scope. It's not, you know, a, a, a modern day scope. It doesn't have a crosshair on it. But, oh man, this thing extends. I don't know, is that is that going to be good for... Uh... Oh, nope, that's a little too close. Okay, this one extends a little too far, but yeah, so it's just a scope. It's like a telescope. It's a telescope, you know? One of those old-timey scopes that you can... Oh, wow, this thing has an insane zoom range. Okay, let's just... Uh, let's put it reasonable. There we go. Okay, that might be breaking. No, I don't know. I want to make sure I'm not breaking anything here. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, that's that's a good distance. Maybe we can lower it a bit. There we go. But it's just a, a telescope. But you can use it as, uh, as a scope. Uh, in fact, let me grab ourselves a attachment. These are light. Nope, 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 nope. Go back. This one. Let's put this. Put this. Uh, let's see if we can finagle this thing on here. Need to actually get it on there so that we can. All right, we're gonna have to take off the scope. This one here first. And then let's get this one. Oh. There we go. Little red, little red dot on there. It's like the, uh, it's like the sniper, uh, sniper's rifle from Team Fortress Two or Meat Fortress. But Overhead shot. Oh, wow. I got it. Oh, I'm out. Well, there you go. It's a telescope. That's a scope. You can mount on any Picatinny rail. And, oh, forgot. <laughs> we'll get to that one in a bit. I actually want to try something. Uh, let me grab a rifle here. Let's grab a standard assault rifle. Yeah, oh, 416. That would be good. Doesn't matter. All right, grab ourselves a red dot and see if we can use this as a magnifier. Uh, attachment, reflex sight. Uh, I think that will fit, right? Yeah, sort of. Oh, hey, yes, we can. <laughs> you want an adjustable red dot? Oh, let me pull the stock out for a bit here. Oh, wow, that is... Yeah, you can absolutely use it as a magnifier if you really wanted to. With a variable zoom. Yeah, it's a variable zoom since it's a telescope. <laughs> oh, that is that is sick. Oh, wow, that is cool. Uh, let me get a magazine for this thing. I forgot to spawn a magazine. What? I'm so stupid. Uh, 416. Let's go to 416 mag. 
this on to the gun. Let's take this and put it like this, and hopefully I'm not messing up my capture. And hopefully I didn't mess up my microphone. It's a little low. I need to fix that. Some tape. Oh, that is cool. It's the marriage of old and new technology right there. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's move that forward a bit. Get a little bit closer. Oh, hopefully I'm not breaking the game here. Oh, that went into my eye. <laughs> but you can understand, right? Just use it as a magnifier if you really want to. Of course, that's the game point. Let's try something a little, uh, let's see, lower. Hollow sight here. Uh, no, that's not going to That's not gonna work, right? Probably going to be too low. Yeah, it's a little too low. You can only see the top of it. But if you put it on a... Um, a rail, uh, I forget what it's called. <clears throat> Red dot tall, let's see. Oops, nope, I don't want to do that. There we go. Hey, there we go. Ah, oh, that is cool. So anything that can potentially, like, is raised up a bit, maybe you can use that as a magnifier. But that's, that's, that's your uh, telescoping, telescope scope. There's a weird position to it. If you do, if you look at the, uh, yeah, see, there's more my controller is when I'm grabbing it. I don't know if that's intentional. I think it is. So you can put it on rails, right? Cool. All right, let's drop that. Boop. There we go. And finally, we've got our range finder, which is pretty cool. All right, um, what am I going to do with all this mess? You know what? Let's just get rid of all this stuff. Clean up these empty mags and guns. And let's spawn ourselves a bolt action. Well, you know, this uh, range is probably not the best to use this thing. I might play a little bit of a uh, take and hold later on and use the range finder. But now that we've got one, we can actually you know, find the range, obviously. Grab a bolt action. Let's grab this one. There we go. Got a couple of bullets here. Let's uh, spawn a couple more. Spawn lock. There we go. And, uh, oh, I can't believe I... Yes, hide. All right. So, if you don't know the range... Oops. Yeah, I know, I know. Again, not, not the most uh, conductive environment to uh, use the rangefinder in, but uh, just for example, well, you bring it up, and you can tell the range. 33 meters, and then you can use that to zero your guns. Again, not really the greatest area to showcase it in, but... Uh, But this will be pretty useful for snipers if you, you know, <laughs> if you snipe, which I will try. Oh, that is pretty cool. All right. Well, I think that's, uh, that's about it for today. I've completely covered everything right except for taking hold stuff which I will do at a later date because uh, uh, you know I'm not feeling well right now so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rest and relax uh, and then uh, once I'm fully well once I'm good enough I'll play some taking hold but I think that's all I'm looking at the change log here got some cool new revolvers uh, new scope a telescope scope and the range finder and yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, I will see you guys next time.